Hi, I am going to teach you an important fact from this video which is still a secret for most people. Usually Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano boards only come with 13 digital pins. In this Uno board, you can see it has marked the digital pin set in this side. And in this Arduino Nano board, these are the digital pins. But in some cases, you may need some extra digital output pins to connect more devices with the Arduino board. As an example, let's say you need to connect 18 LEDs to Arduino board to make a LED flasher. But Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano has only 13 digital pins. That means we need 5 extra digital pins to connect these LEDs. To overcome this problem, someone can suggest that it is possible to use a ship register IC to expand the number of outputs. But there is another easy way to do this without buying any extra components. We can use analog pins of Arduino boards as digital pins also. That means we can simply perform digital read and digital write functions on analog pins also. Before going to the practical session, I invite you to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the future videos like this. To do this, I will get a breadboard and an Arduino Uno board. Then I will get a LED and plug it on the breadboard like this. Next I will connect the negative pin of LED with the ground pin of the Arduino board. Then I will take a 220 ohm resistor. I will connect the A0 pin to the LED's positive pin via this 220 ohm resistor. Now let's look at the Arduino code. At the beginning of the code, I have declared the LED connector pin. As this is the first analog pin, we have to refer it as the digital pin 14. So I have put 14 in here. That means if you want to connect the LED to A1 pin, we should consider it as the digital pin 15. Then I have initialized the LED pin as an output type inside the setup function. Now let's go to the loop function which runs again and again. In here, it has put the voltage of the LED pin into high state by using the digital write function. This will turn on the LED. Then there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds. After that, it will put the voltage of LED pin into low by turning off the LED. Then there is another delay of 1000 milliseconds. This simple program should continuously turn on and off this LED in a gap of 1 second. Now I am connecting the Arduino board to the computer via USB port. Then. Let's compile and upload this code into the Arduino board. If you have any problems while uploading codes into Arduino boards, please refer my previous video called Arduino Tutorial for Beginners. I will put its link on the video description. Now the code is uploaded and we can see that this LED is working as expected. Now I am planning to connect another 5 LEDs to the remaining analog pins of Arduino. I am connecting each LED through 220 ohm resistors with analog pins of Arduino board like this.
Now I am using this modified code to blink these LEDs in a pattern. According to the code, all 6 LEDs should blink one after another with a gap of 1 second. Let's upload the new code and see the result. You can see that it is working fine. You can read the digital inputs also from the analog pins like this. For that purpose, we can use digital read function. But you can't use these pins as PWM pins. And also, when considering about Arduino board types like Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro Mini and Arduino Mini, we can't use their A6 and A7 pins as digital pins. But all other analog pins of them can be used as digital pins. I will show you how to make a multi pattern police flasher using 18 LEDs from my next video. That project also will use this method to run 18 LEDs from an Arduino Uno board. Please see the video description for more details. So this is the end of the tutorial and I appreciate your comments and ideas in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. See you from my next video. Thank you.